Elite Facts presents. You won't believe any of these people existed. Ten. The wild men of Borneo. These wild men were actually a twin pair of mentally challenged midgets, for which there'd be no hope of employment if not for those curious circus goers providing seemingly limitless opportunity. They were bought from their mother at the age of 26 and taught their act, which included acrobatics, dancing, speaking in their native language, which was gibberish, and reciting poems in English. Nine. Earl the Giant. Earl had a condition called gigantism, the clinical term for what a circus would label as simply a giant. He traveled with various circuses for 14 years, longer than his original one-year contract. He also appeared in movies like Jack and the Beanstalk. While it's not easy for a quote-unquote freak to find normal work, Earl did just that, showing that he was capable of achieving beyond the exploitation of his appearance. He was a salesman for a wine company, eventually becoming their PR rep, as well as a sculptor, a painter, and a poet. 8. Schlitzie the Pinhead Pinheads were an especially big draw in the circus sideshows, and Schlitzie was one of them. Having a condition called microcephalus, his cranium was incredibly underdeveloped and sat like a baby's head on the shoulders of a grown man. Schlitzy, as far as his brain was concerned anyway, was three. Nonetheless, he sang and danced, could count to ten, and starred in the movie Freaks at the physical age of 40. 7. The Hunchback of Notre Dame Quasimodo is not fictional, not entirely anyway. Appearing in Victor Hugo's ultimate tale about being a victim of pure disposition, the Hunchback of Notre Dame was inspired by an actual hunchback who lived in Notre Dame. A British researcher found a memoir excerpt that told of a humpbacked stone carver that worked in a cathedral Hugo was very much involved with. Speculation is that he must have come across this rather antisocial individual, given the worker's level of involvement on government commissioned projects. 6. Zarati the Puppet Girl Born as more of a finger puppet at a weight of 8 ounces and a height of 7 inches, Zarate weighed less than a cat as an adult. She is the smallest recorded human being on Earth, a fact that had no trouble drawing a big crowd at the circus. When she came to America at the age of 12, she was the highest paid dwarf at the time. Sadly, she died at the age of 26 when her train got stopped in the Rocky Mountains during a snowstorm. 5. Mule Face Grace McDaniels not a pleasant thing to be nicknamed, this woman was born with a facial deformity that rendered her simply unpleasant to look at, hence the name. She was actually billed as the ugliest woman in the world, as if that were an achievement worth aspiring to. In spite of her physical appearance, she was actually a nice person and was married with child. 4. Julia Pastrana this woman's memory is literally preserved, as when she died, she was stuffed and put on display the very way she had been while alive. Also born with hypertrichosis, her features were more characteristic of a gorilla than a dog. Her nose and ears were especially large, her face was covered with hair, and she had a double pair of teeth which pronounced her mouth as such. She had a husband named Theodore Lent who had originally purchased her and taught her to be a performer and eventually had a child born with the same affliction who died three days later. She died five days after that due to complications from that birth and her exploitative husband had both her and the baby mummified and placed in a glass cabinet. 3. Jojo the Dog Boy This dog boy actually had a canine-like father as well. The dad, Adrian, was a bitter drunk and ran from his village and into the woods one day, living in the feral manner that a stray dog might. He himself faced mockery and ample shunning and performed in sideshows to make money. After he fathered a child equally as Harry, they toured together until Adrian ended up dying a drunken death. The boy, however, went on to continue performing faithfully just as a trained dog might, barking and growling on command. In actuality, he wasn't a dog child, obviously, and he could speak English, Russian, and German. 2. The Hilton Twins Conjoined twins Violet and Daisy shared a common blood and nervous system, which means they truly felt all the same pain. They were sold as slaves by their mother to a midwife who greedily took advantage of their misfortune. While they sang, danced, and played instruments in circus sideshows, their slave owner kept all their earnings and forbade them from socializing. Eventually, a lawyer helped them to escape and even reacquire the money they were swindled out of. They went on to do movies and earned as much as $5,000 at the height of their showbiz careers. 1. Prince Radiant 
No, not a human centipede, this was a real person, although no less startling when dressed in that sleeveless sock outfit. Just a head and a torso, this guy was capable enough as a quadriplegic that he could light a cigarette with just his mouth, not to mention the fact that he had a wife and kids. He shows up in the movie Freaks and performs the aforementioned cigarette trick, although it's hardly a trick when you have no other limbs to rely on. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.